lesson good afternoon to everyone present here words are rose petals that are sprinkled with fragments to invite one and all with warm greetings for this wonderful program i invite i invite all for fourth day fourth day fdp now i call upon miss nandini now i call upon miss nandini for welcome address thank you noon everyone it's my honor and a privilege to welcome you all to this faculty development program on science and technology development academic growth on behalf of kesar college of arts and science for women tirchangode i extend a warm welcome to all dignitaries resource persons and faculty members who have joined us for this faculty development program with the blessings of our beloved founder late line dr k s rangasamy mjf a very warm welcome to our chairman mr r sinivasan in absentia i would like to welcome our young energetic vice chairman mr sachin sinivasan in absentia a cordial and heartfelt welcome to our principal dr m kartikeyan kesar college of arts and science for women tirchangol who has been the backbone of this event in absentia we are deeply honored to have with us today's chief guest dr s shivakumar associate professor school of chemistry madurai kamaraj university madurai their achievements and dedication to their work serve as inspirations to us it's my glad to welcome you all the participants for the fourth day of faculty development program once again i welcome you all thank you thank you ms b mo Now, I am Nandini. Next, I call upon Miss uh, B. Monisha to give a chief guest profile address. Thank you, ma'am. Dr. S. Saraman is an associate professor in the School of Chemistry, Organic Chemistry at Madurai Kamaraj University, Madurai. He has started in associate professor in the same institute from 2010. He has earned a PhD in Organic Chemistry at Pondicherry University. He has post-doctoral fellow chemical biology lab at Department of Chemistry, Ben Gurion University of Nagav, Israel, from May 2008 to March 2010. He was visiting fellow in chemical biology, Department of Chemistry, Ben Gurion University of Nagav, Israel, from May 2010 to June 2010. <coughs> He has UGC Raman post-doctoral fellow, Division of Translation Imaging, New York State Psychiatric Institute, Columbia University at USA. From October 2013 to 2014, he was honored DST Young Scientist Project at 2010 and Indo-US UGC Raman Postdoctoral Fellowship at 2013 to 2014. His cover page published in New Journal of Chemistry at 2023. He is a life member in Indian Society for Radiation and Photochemical Sciences and Chemical Research Society of India, Bangalore, from 2011 to present. He was a member in American Chemical Society USA from 2014 to 2019. He was a convener in CRSA local chapter Madurai from 2023 to 2026. His current area of specialization in synthetic organic chemistry. He was guided and awarded 10 PhDs and 6 ongoing PhDs, 13 MPhil projects, 35 MSc projects and 15 summer research fellows from Indian Academy of Sciences. Bangalore. He was invited as a guest speaker in many conferences at various institutions. He has organized various conference, workshops, seminars, symposia. Like uh, he is a convener in CRSA local chapter, National Conference on Current Trends in Chemistry, February 21 to 23, 2024, School of Chemistry, Madurai Kamaraj University at Madurai. He has published numerous papers in various journals like Chem Photochem, Journal of Surfactants and Detergents, Chemistry Select, ACS Omega, New Journey of Chemistry, Journal Materials of Chemistry, and etc. We are glad to invite you, sir. The session is yours. Yeah, thank you, ma'am, for your uh, nice introduction. Am I audible? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, shall we go for presentation? I'll share my slides.
Tapan. Is it visible? The slide is visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah okay, fine. Okay, today uh, uh, I'm going to discuss uh, one of, uh, uh, you know, uh, work done by my student very interesting result I'm going to uh, share with you. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, I'll uh, just start with a molecule. This, this is our group. Uh, we usually synthesize a lot of heterocyclic molecules, uh, both uh, aliphatic and aromatic heterocycles. Also, polyaryl molecules also used to synthesize. And uh, we'll, uh, you know, and also some molecules will be, you know, fluorescent and maybe some 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 others are not fluorescent we selectively uh, students are involving uh, synthesizing of fluorescence molecule and uh, non fluorescent molecules aromatic heterocycles if a fluorescent molecule they go for you know the studies like cation sensors anion sensors and ia studies and uh, imaging also will do with the blow, uh, fluorescence uh, imaging biological cell imaging like that. And other part, the heterocycles with the non fluorescent molecules, they will also do synthesis and then do for biological test. Uh, there will other applications, maybe they will uh, they go for cell imaging with uh, uh, external uh, fluorescent, uh, using fluorescent uh, molecule. These are the things we are, uh, work, you know, currently going on in our, my laboratory. And uh, uh, ben, this, uh, this is a benz, uh, benzodiazepine uh, is a one molecule. I start with this. It's a drug. Commercially, it's available in many of the molecules. Why I'm starting this one? One of my student, uh, she want to, uh, her name is Dhanalakshmi. She want to prepare some uh, uh, mimics. Ooh, I mean, property-wise, you know, some benz in molecule with a different uh, starting material. What we are using our starting material, I'll tell you uh, what starting material we are using, all this. Before that, what is benz in Many of you, you heard about it, benz diazepine derivatives of molecule, and what for that? This is the structure of benz diazepine molecule. You can uh, see this uh, six membered ring, aromatic molecule, substituted to nitrogen atom. This may be a ketone or something else. You know, this is the ring. And uh, this property is actually what happened this, uh, this molecule, you know, the scientist uh, uh, Leo Sternberg in 1955. Actually, he was trying to prepare some molecules with the quinoline-based molecule because they want to address uh, uh, some kind of anxiety and several uh, uh, this problem issues. This company called uh, um, Hoffman Laboratory, laboratory. They want to prepare. They are involving this, making this molecule. He made. He prepared several molecules with. Uh, he want to address this. Uh, I know the so this you know this kind of uh, disease, and he was preparing several molecules. You know, similarly, uh, this kind of molecules, like you know, mainly for uh, quinoline-based molecules. None of them was uh, having this uh, you know this property. And one day, what happened? He synthesized a molecule. And then just left out in the lab itself, the table itself. It's more like the serendipity. The next day morning, the clean 
the no cleaning person came and I saw that uh, some chemicals are in the vial. It's just left out in the table. So you don't know what to do. So immediately what he did is he submitted this sample to the laboratory, biological laboratory. He went. Maybe in a few days later, the result came and uh, he was surprised that whatever he is expecting that result was uh, there in this molecule. Then he worked out, he find that some kind of this benzodiazepine of in molecule. That was very interesting things. And then nowadays we are also using this benzodiazepine molecule derivatives for many other things. Like, uh, you know, I'll just skip. Generally, this benzodiazepine, you know, as a structural class of compound that are used as a hypnotics, anesthetics, you know, anti uh, convulsants and muscle reluctant like. And the course actually, you know, benzene ring and a uh, diazepine ring. That's another one is it's benzene with the diazepine ring. And different compounds have different side groups attached to these central systems, especially one, two, and five or seven positions. The different side groups affect the binding of the molecule to the GABA receptor and so can modulate the pharmacological properties. This, you know, this molecule. You know, this is the benzene molecule. This is the diazepine ring. You have a six, a one, one, two, uh, five, seven system. You know, position if you very know that to have the properties also will be changed. This molecule. And these are the, uh, I mean, you can say, you know, I'll, you know, depression, as I told you, muscle spams and uh, grand mole. These are the problems, you know, the address, they want to address this uh, uh, with this molecule. And you know the GABA benzodiazepine or benzo affect the brain by enhancing a neurotransmitter called GABA. The GABA job is to calm things down. In the, we know that what GABA is working, and benz, benzo makes GABA work better, like a, a gentle break, reducing excessive brain activity. All these things we know. So this idea, with this idea, we started uh, our uh, research. And then we like to pro want to mimic this this kind of any one of these molecules. See, these are commercial available molecules. You can see in the in drugs, this all uh, still commercially molecule. Our idea to mimic this kind of molecule, any one of these, to prepare you know these various uh, derivatives of this benzodiazepine. And that's the idea with uh, things we started our uh, research. What happened? And before that, I know we, we used a starting material. I just I want to give some few introductions on this. We used to use a ketone diethyl salt. There's nothing but actually, this is the one. This is a molecule. This is the push pull molecule uh, with, you know, this uh, two with uh, two methyl, methyl, um, Merkoff, you know, methyl sulfonyl. These are, you know, this is a nucleophilic center. Once a nucleophilic enters here, this followed by you know, one of the SMU go out, or maybe in the continuous things, you know, this two maybe goes out. Sometimes a ring annulation will be possible. We have done several letters using these reactions. And three, you know, <clears throat> this is the thing, you know, this is the push pull alkene because when you add, uh, when you enter this nuclear cell, you know, this uh, the double bond will shift and come back, and then this SMS goes out. This polar is highly polarized and uh, uh, donating group, these tools are, you know that, and then you have a very strong electron withdrawing group. This aspects, you know, one can synthesize uh, even aromatic molecules, uh, polyarils, uh, heteroarils, several molecules. We have done several molecules, and Professor Hila was, uh, she has done uh, several works and synthesized several five membered and six membered heterocycles. And if you look at the literature using this kind of molecule, you know, they have there's a few literatures I just showed you. They have published in very good journals like Ang and Dekami, you know, several molecules. These are, you know, they have some pharmaceutical properties in this journal. Everything has some, you know, they prepared several electrocycles and aromatic molecules, starting with a uh, starting with like this, you know. And CJOC and everything. There's a lot of papers out there. And they prepared several molecules, and these are very of, I mean, medical, uh, pharmaceutically very valuable uh, compounds. So we also thought 
to prepare some molecules. You know, these are how to prepare this molecule. The starting metal we start used. Just take any active methylene carbon, and you treat it with uh, uh, CS2 carbon disulfide and presence of base. You get this molecule in a solid molecule. Very very easily you can prepare this molecule. So this is the idea actually. We want to start with this molecule. You know our starting material with the uh, treat with the uh, this aniline. Uh, I mean benzdiene, uh, arthrodiene, uh, diamine. This molecule, diamine molecule. Our idea is to this. If you treat this molecule, what will happen? One, I mean, uh, will react. I mean, goes Michael additions in the four one four addition. The other one maybe in the it will you know it will make a image like this. We will get like this molecule. Similarly. And then uh, for maybe you can uh, further we can modify this molecule with you know several uh, functional group integration. That's our idea. The candidate, you know, the candidacy conducted uh, this reaction. Mostly, most of the times, you know, she is repeated several times, and she got a product also. But what happened that uh, product NMR? I mean, other data are not matching with this molecule. This, you know, this in this in the NMR spectrum, we have, we don't have a semi group, and the rest are uh, other groups are there, were like OME and benzene, all these things are there. But except you know this extra carbon, you know, this is nothing was there. We are wondering, uh, what, but uh, you know, the, this is very so good, solid, and uh, easily can isolate everything was there. But uh, this molecule was we are, we could not identify this molecule. Instead of that. Then finally, you know, after uh, several uh, things, we found that this is the molecule we obtained. This is a Benz, uh, uh, Benz imidazole. This is called Benz imidazole. This is more. Why I'm telling these uh, things, you know, before this, I started with the Benz diazepin. The Benz diazepin also is a serendipity. They did not expect uh, this molecule. Uh, this they will get because they were some. They are expecting something. You now the targeting is on quinoline based, but uh, they end up with uh, this uh, benz diazepin ring molecule. And what happened? You know, sometimes in the laboratory, many of you might have uh, experienced uh, the same thing. You know, we start. We, we maybe plan with uh, uh, some targeting some molecule, but uh, you may get uh, in a different molecule that. The other, you know, unexpected molecule will have a several, several impact. Like that, this molecule also uh, we did. Then now we, we will look at the NMR, it's completely matched. This is benzimidazole, it's not a very a new molecule, it's to many people over time. But the thing is that the methodology is very new. So we started with the, uh, our starting material and then you know, we got this uh, molecule in a very good yield. Then we repeated several times, even you know, microwave conditions also have done, and then thermal conditions also done. We have done several times, these repeated these actions. So without any problems, we got this product. For a mechanism, you know, as I told you, we have done this reaction under a stick medium. What we thought, okay, once you know we have this carbonyl compound is there, uh, because you know, I mean, also is a bigger nuclear, field, you know. If you protonate this, this will be uh, activated and then the electron division will be here. And then uh, once you know this amine one of the amine will go and react here, and the rest of the things you know will come and uh, will I will go Michael additions so, so that you will get a uh, um, this uh, benz uh, benz disappear like kind of molecules we thought. But this reactions did not do like that. So what happened? As such, you know, in the process of a stick medium. One of the, I mean, you know, this protonated and then it's reacted with this carbonyl. Then, second, you know, it forms a imine here. The second, I mean, what's happened, you know, the same carbon is react, you no, know, instead of uh, 1 4 addition, this is going to 1 2 addition. And then it's, you know, attacked in the same, you know, on this carbonyl, uh, this imine carbon. And then followed by, you know, it's uh, this group is gone off. Yeah. This is gas, actually, we cannot trap, but uh, you know, this also may be the slim kind of molecule. We thought that it, you know, the, by, by writing the mechanism, this is what happening, actually. See, look at here, this big molecule, how it is just get eliminating. Uh, simply, in the one-part reactions, 
just you mix uh, take this starting material and then this uh, wins uh, <coughs> diamine in presence of uh, a stick medium even in the catalytic amount if you just heat it for a few hours you will end up with this benz um, benzimidazole molecule and uh, this is what we got you know this, this we cannot i didn't you know trap this one because it the gases goes out and this also we could not baby but we later we tried this is what happening uh, like mechanism then we look at this literature obviously we know that this benz benzimidazole have a uh, you know have a good impact and many people are uh, synthesized. Then these also they have some, you know, have, uh, many benzimidos are having some biological, I mean, medicinal values, like uh, they use this pharmaceutical. See, you see the core structure of this benzimidos, so see here, the another, you know, antagonist and inhibitors and uh, several other uh, anti nuclear activity. See the core structure exactly. And uh, see, we, in any case, you know, the other one, the hepatitis C virus. See here, this guy. Now we can make this molecule from our method without any problems. Just you know, with our substitutions only. And see here, other molecules. See this one is you all. Know, they have a drug. This is still the lamprosol drug. <coughs> still, people are you know commercially it's available. So we got a very. I mean, once you prepare this molecule, then we got a very. Uh, the store, we got very, very much interested and more emphasizing whether we want to make some several uh, and derivatives of this molecule. Then, you know, of course, we, uh, we've, uh, we, we, uh, we survive, I mean, we, we went to the literature, what are the methods they have used? See, you can look at these molecules, you know, they used, you know, so, you know several various, I just few one, you know, and the conditions, you know, very tedious condition, like, you know, they used some catalyst, metal catalyst, and then a very, uh, conditions are very, you know, not very simple conditions. But uh, we, we just uh, synthesis molecule, you know, with a very simple, anyone, anywhere can, this can, the reaction can be done. Just 40% of our uh, mole percentage are stick acid and reflect for just two hours and we got this molecule. These are the several conditions we tried with the several uh, acids and uh, Lewis acids, you know, catalyst and several thing, you know, this paratolium sulfonic acid, it will be everything. But in acetic acid, we got a very good yield. And this many molecules we prepared, you can see here, even if you put a pyrene, because the purpose is we want to make this some kind of imaging. As I told you earlier, this benzimidosis also has some flows in, I mean, the uh, uh, nature. We have checked with this UV and uh, and we want to make you know this uh, study this flaws and studies also with uh, biological activities. For that, we prepared uh, the naphthalene and the ferrocene also we made and then spirine. Uh, see variety of molecules we prepared uh, with uh, this following this method. And this paper immediately this paper was published and uh, as RSC advances at that time. And then we want to continue, extend our work with uh, this molecule with the different uh, substitutions. What we did is, see here, we extended our double bond here, okay? And then now we want to check the same thing, you know, whether this reactions will go like this with this ring, this side, because you have two sides are there. The selectivity will be there. Maybe this uh, <coughs> diamine will choose will go with via this position, this this area, or with this double bond will cyclize. We get a same kind of this diazepine kind of things we want to check because we thought that because comparatively, you know, some other reactions we have done, and what happened like tosmic uh, later also we'll see. What happened instead of going this side with this reactions went to the other side because you know this is a more easily available uh, nucleophiles can immediately uh, react this side compared this side push pull uh, double bond because you have a two groups are there and also comparatively this is more or less substituted side so nucleophile can attack very easily this side that's what we thought this diamine also will react this side maybe you get a nice up kind of molecule with this structure so here also we got you know what happened the same kind of benzimidosol we got so this this less this double bond nothing affected the reactions went as such 
before we uh, the before I mean what we got the same mechanism this way I also got this one. This RLA didn't uh, you know, this extended double model. And one more thing, we got another product also. We had a two, uh, in the TL, a TLC, we got a two spots, but to separate it, we got another one. This is nothing but actually, you know, before that, this eliminating this system, I'll show the mechanism. And now this reacted with this double bond, and then uh, it got another one. Because uh, this system is a gas, it has to go out. But the reactions conducted in the closed vessels in under. Uh, so what happens sometimes, you know, some molecules, some percentage of SME is reacted with this double bond, and then this this product also we got. And this is a mechanism, as I told you early, what happening, you know, nothing, this this double bond was nothing affected, but this reaction with those as such uh, we discussed early. And in this stage, you know, see here, this part is goes out. SME and uh, this methyl sulfonyl, uh, this group. After that, it's come as attack here, added here, and then uh, they're getting, they we got this product. The thing is that, you know, we have to control uh, this reaction because either we have to get this product or this conjugated, uh, this one. Okay, this, uh, this is what is happening here. This is mechanism. For that, you know, we tried with the, uh, we want to control this reaction, so whether this reaction is going, because we have to prove the mechanism whether like this system is reacting with this or not. For that, what we did, uh, we did, you know, excess of uh, uh, stick acid we took, and then we tried plug for, you know, if you do all that time. We got this product in excess of a stick, you know, if you prolong a long time, what's happening, you know, we are getting this is a more, the, more percentage rather than this. It means that if you leave it for longer time, this, Removed, you know, SME, you know, goes keep on adding here, and then it's getting this product. The yield is, you know, comparatively, uh, this this has become a major product, and this will become a minor product. Then, <clears throat> and then, uh, you know, so then we conditions, you know, see here the same thing, you know, for this also we have to my uh, uh, reactions conditions. You know, 10 volume of acetic acid, you know, only acetic acid, and uh, 110 degrees, 15 hours of reflex, we got a 75% of this product. By way. But I you know a few, uh, I mean, very trace amount of this, uh, when you know, in this product, you know, we got the three year product. We could not cancel it. See here, we managed to get this product. So we have so same thing, you know, we nearly uh, 10, 15 molecules we have synthesized with the same with the conditions. And also uh, with the heteroatoms here, instead of uh, aryl group, we put some uh, heteroaromatic ones like a furon, the spermidine, and uh, see, thiophene, all this is also we, we had, did this reaction. Same things what happened, you know, we got a good heat. With a good heat, we got this molecule without any problems. And then we tested with this, you know, once you isolated this molecule and uh, externally what happened, we separately, we took this thiol molecule and reacted with this double bond. We got this 100% uh, this molecule and they used to see other uh, uh, thiophin, um, thiol molecules also because the two things that, uh, you know, we got this product, as you can see here, see, without any problems. So we confirm that this is what happening. Actually, if you have a sulfur and then this here and in any thiol uh, sulfur groups, this is reacting very easily. And even you can prepare several uh, substituted uh, other nucleic acids also. But uh, we just uh, control, I mean, stop with this two reactions, two or three reactions. Then we tried uh, taking this molecule want to remove, try to remove this uh, SME group uh, by just adding our acid because, you know, make to cover, you know, to control this another way uh, further, you know, this to prepare this, but we could not succeed. Even though if we went to, you know, in presence of acid and 15 hours we went and we could not make uh, this molecule. And later what we did, then we went to the literature 
if you use, you know, the scalpers of some literature that they're using for trapping of the sulfur compound, then we want to try with this uh, presence of copper iodide. So what happened? The same conditions, this reactions, acetic acid, water, and, and uh, additionally, we used to copper iodide. And very surprisingly, what happened? We got uh, only this compound. Okay, already in uh, styrile benzimidazole. So this is styrile benzimidazole. So we did not get other product. That means this SME substituted one. Then these also have a uh, people are synthesized no, literature. See here, see, uh, you know, the conditions, you know, they used several uh, uh, different conditions and they got out uh, this product. And uh, we optimize the conditions with you know water solvent. We use the solvent as a water, and the copperated the catalyst, acetic acid. You know also as a catalytic amount of acetic acid few, and then uh, 180 minutes, 90 well, maximum we got a at the time you know 92 percent of this product we can do, and we did not get other uh, sulfonated uh, product. It is what happening. We, we propose a mechanism in presence of you know, uh, as I told you, you know, these reactions. You know, once it's eliminating this one, this will be trapped by copper. This SME, it will be trapped. This both you know, trapped by copper added, and then uh, it's not again. It's coming and add to this. We want, and then we did not get another product. So here also, you know. We can be able to synthesize, you know, various styrel benzimidazole so molecules. See here with the various substitutions. We took, you know, we mean electron donating groups and then some withdrawing groups also the cyanide. Several molecules were synthesized with a good yield. And we tried with the, some, you know, polyaryl molecules also, substituted like, like same conditions, you know. We tried other uh, naphthalene, anthelcine, see here, and uh, pyrene type of molecule. See, highly conjugated uh, this molecule. We are synthesized, and then we prepared uh, this molecule. This molecules are, you know, you have a, a good, you know, so they all are solid molecules, and then immediately we can able to take uh, this uh, uh, <coughs> X-ray, single crystal XRD. Uh, it's very nicely it's came two component you know two component every molecule you can take but you know it's very expensive but you know we took uh, for two molecules the single protects already is very nicely we show the structure and then same here also we tried with the electro rings now this with uh, this form of molecule we introduced the electrocycles and then we prepared uh, this molecule see here one is very excellent yield uh, it's came uh, then we tried with the uh, you know other uh, um, uh, molecule, you know other substitutes, you know with uh, various uh, other molecules reagents like this is a tosmic, this is a bunadi nitrine. Uh, <clears throat> so we want to make some kind of same kind of molecule with heterarils. So. This is all in one part reactions we have done. This is all with the with the previous result. You know we want to make some kind of you know we want to introduce uh, some other thing, more reagent, and let us uh, what's happening because now what you think we are trying to prepare uh, this benz disulfide kind of molecule, and slowly what happened this uh, reaction was completely uh, this uh, you know this every based on our uh, product. And uh, the conditions, everything, you know, we changed this. Uh, this reactions goes like, you know, we want to find out this uh, rigid selectivity because we have a two double bonds is there, as I told you early, and reacting is only one side. That uh, even uh, that uh, diamine, what, what about other uh, reagents like, you know, we want to test. Separately, earlier, before what we did, this tosmic uh, uh, reagent, this is a tosmic, this one we treated with uh, our uh, molecule. It's only went to this side, and we got a pure molecule. 
without this extended double bond, we treated this tosmic with this RL uh, uh, did, but we got a pyrrol molecule, but in process of this double bond, the reaction goes on the only other side. Same thing this guanidine. What we did, we took this guanidine and we treated with the without this extended double bond, this reacted with this push pull alkenes, we got a promidine. But uh, if you add this extended double bond, this nothing was affected, only even though this, even though with the extended double bond, this reaction is going only this side, not with the other side. So if you add tasmic, this tasmic is reacting with only the other this side, this double bond is not uh, affecting uh, this uh, first pull alkene. When you add this tar, this guanidine separately, it reacts with the first pull alkene forms. See here, this is the pyrrole. It forms. Okay. If you add a tosmic, it's react with this double bond and uh, pyrrole with this substitute. This group will be there. And if you add guanidine, it's only react with the Fushpul alkene and forms pyrimidine with, you know, imagine this is extended double bond. So that in this condition, what we thought that, okay, mix together, all together, then let us see what will happen. That's what we tried. And, uh, you know, very interestingly, we got this product. See here, RL group, pyrrole, and uh, this pyrimidine structure. And the tosmic, I want to tell you the tosmic also. This tosmic is a wonderful reagent. It's you know, von Luzon, you know, you only found this uh, uh, reagent. You know what he did? He, he prepared this uh, tosmic, this reagent, and he reacted with any double bond, any like a NN double bond, C double bond, o, or CC double bond, whatever it is. If you add now, you'll get corresponding five ring. That was that's what we you know we followed this tosmic. We want to prepare some fine mode ring and several we, we have done we have prepared several uh, uh, pyrrole molecules using this tosmic. See here, as I told you, no, if you take this molecule, if you add guanidine, you are getting only this kind of molecule, seven compounds. So nothing is affecting this side, this part. If you add tosmic, tosmic, you know. This double bond only of area is getting involved, and then we get a product under this. We have both we isolated separately. And we then further we will treat with this tasmic, we'll get this product, and take this molecule and treat this guanidine, we will get this product. So separately, also, you know, I mean step by step also, also we, uh, we we synthesized and then we found that the reaction is perfectly is going. So that's what you know what we did. We put in one part reaction in a multi component reactant. This methanol also is, you know, this methanol, what happens if you use methanol, this one of the SM is going out, I mean, replacing it, it goes out, the methanol will be replaced here. If you use ethanol, ethanol will be there, here. If you use propanol, propanol will be there. If you anything, if you use, no, if you, the solvent also used methanol. If you in the dry conditions, you use THF and um, any um, alkyl alkoxyl, if you use, no, that will be replaced. You will get a, this molecule. So four component, you know, what one part has got a very uh, good, you know, very, uh, this molecule we've got, you know, excellent, with the excellent yield. So these are the conditions we have tried. Sodium hydrate is a base and THF, because we need a sodium hydrate to activate this tosmic because you know, here we have to create a <clears throat> anion that will react with this, this here, and then that's what we need. Uh, and also to activate, <clears throat> to activate the methyl methanol, methoxide, with sodium we used, one part reactions. See here, 30 compounds we prepared, 30 derivatives of this molecule, with all, you know, very, uh, uh, see, we used retrocycles also with uh, all kind of molecules we prepared. Without seeing the yields are, see, we put a, we got a very good yield. And we got a structure also after playground <coughs> for uh, one of the molecules of this. And this is the mechanism as I told you. What's happening here? 
this first the tosmic is reacting with this uh, this portion and then make the pyrrole molecule then followed by the gonadine is reacting with this molecule and then uh, you know here and then uh, after that it is getting uh, and then it forms this pyrimidine molecule then it continues our uh, uh, interest to make further, you know, some more uh, <coughs> molecules. You know, because we tried with the uh, without extended double bond, we started with the benz double benzimidazole we prepared. Then we extended the double bond. Then we got a styrel benzimidazole molecule. And other than uh, with that, we got another uh, a molecule with a methyl sulfonyl uh, substituted one. Then later. We reacted with the uh, tosmic and the gonadine. We got a triaryl molecules with the tri, -tri I mean, uh, heteroryls molecule with the uh, various things. Then we want to try with the uh, other systems like this spiro molecules. I'll show you this. See, this spiro molecule can be synthesized using any. You know, people are, uh, you know, the prepared is this also, you know, very, uh, very known for this, you know, for uh, many uh, pharmaceutical applications. Uh, still, people are using this molecule because it's, uh, it's all, you know, uh, spiro oxygen rules with the chronidin scaffold, phenolidin scaffold. Actually, um, um, you know, people are using this. Spiro molecule, these are the methods. See, they're taking this ketone. Both sides, you know, it's arylidin ketone, and then this treat with this molecule, and then what you'll get, they're getting so far this product. See here also, this is a region selectivity, region chemoselective. This is reacting with this only one side, the double bond only involved. That is, the other double bond is not involved. Even though if you add excess of this molecule, this is not reacting with the other side. This is completely left out. So we got an interest. Okay, previous previous which I showed you know the one side the double bond is not reacting. I mean other side is reacting. So we want to test whether this reactions go as such. What it did, we took proline. Proline is you know sometimes you can use it as you know you can. Um, uh, activate that so many times you can use it a catalyst, but here is a, it's reacting this molecule. What you did? We took a, our uh, benzene. Uh, this is our starting material, and then uh, we treated. We took other side. I don't know this is the proline and this is the phenylene molecule. Also, we then. Uh, uh, one, this is goes under the one three dipolar cycle addition. What I have to see here, as such, you know, is reacting with only this double. And this side is nothing has happened. You know, it did not disturb. See here, we're getting this product, but this push pull alkene was not affected. And same thing, if you use another amino acids. These also, it goes, you know, the extended double bond, not with the push polar, polarized double bond. This side, they did not, uh, this reaction did not go. So we used, uh, we optimized this reaction conditions with the multi -com. See, we have done this reaction in a multi component manner, not in a single step by step. I mean, uh, one with, uh, you know, we took all together because this reaction is goes only this side. First, what will happen to, these two will get react, you know, make some uh, uh, elite like elites, and then it will. I'll show the mechanism, and then I know we, we got this product now. See, this reaction, you know, you can make it a combinatorial uh, synthesis. It means at a time you can make, you can do more than 100 reactions. You under uh, you know if you take a vessel well and you have a facility actually put it we've done uh, we have done like this one. Uh, 
at the time, you know, 10, 10 reactions were not done with our facility. We can take a test, you know, under, under uh, test tips with, uh, you know, so we have set up and then immediately, you know, we will get a, once after the completion of uh, these reactions, we will get a solid will be thrown out just to filter out that much easy. This reaction is very, very see here. Like she got a 99 percentage of it. That's what. We prepared several molecules. See the derivatives, you know, we used several derivatives. Each one is, you know, we have varied this R group. See here, R group we used. O and V and O2, all this. And here, the substitution, see, we vary with the different substitutions here. Okay. So we got a, each one, see here, how many molecules we have made. Without any difficulty, we like we have done with the common variables, it's not a every day one. At a time, 10 reactions we have done. So, still, um, we can make you know, library, you know, hundreds of molecules more than as such, you know, as you like. Every you know, we can make several uh, uh, molecule. This this molecule you can make that's very easy because you know, it's completely religious selective, it's not affecting the other side. So, <clears throat> Later, this is the mechanism. What's happening? This uh, proline, you know, is protect. I mean, it makes an aluminium. If this CO2 goes out, and then once it's formed, this you know, this goes one three dipolar cyclations with this here, and forms this spiral molecule. So we changed. Uh, you know, we have done with the C some bulk quantity. Also, we have done. Uh, we can make some after that. We, we prepared some 50 grams, 100 grams also at a water time. And uh, some other aminas instead of uh, proline, we used other aminas uh, that also worked very well. Only thing is, this is a very got a very minor uh, compound. This is very interesting thing. Mm -hmm. See here, this NH2 went and uh, replaced this one of SME, one of the SME. This was interesting actually. We are uh, working on this, preparing this molecule separately. Only this the, uh, the, this amino acid we got this product, and the rest of them, you know, <clears throat> this as I showed this spiral molecule we got. And uh, see here, using this, also we prepared several uh, derivatives. You can you can see this, you know, we're changing this, all these things. With a good yield, and I see the X-ray of this molecule. And then, okay, now as we uh, we have done with the, the our uh, previously, you know that uh, tosmic and uh, guanidine, because tosmic reacted with the the less substituted uh, double bond, and then the guanidine reacted with the um, polarized double bond. Same thing. What happened? We have synthesis this. Um, this molecule, this spiral molecule. See, this portion is still left out. We can uh, prepare several other heterocycles. So, same thing. What we did, see here, without affecting anything. You know, we have done this. We took this diamine, then we got this product. We treated with the guanidine, we got a primidine, and we treated with hydrazin, we got a pyrazole. See, with this. This molecule. And uh, we changed, you know, this. See, with the various uh, uh, molecule, we approached the polyetrorails running systems. See, we took uh, this molecule and you know we have done and we prepared uh, with uh, see, different substituted molecules. We have done benzene so same thing extended. We have done with the extended double bond. You know, so we decide we as I told if spiro prepared and this double bond we treated with this molecule. We got uh, this molecule. I mean, you know, multi component manner. So previously, how do you done in the step by step? First, we prepared this spiral, and then we treated with the, this diamine, 
we got the product. Now what happened? We did all together. We took everything. This diamine or a starting material and then uh, this uh, amino acids. We took together all together and then we treated in a multi -component. The thing is that we got a less yield, but you know, always uh, multi component reactions. We may not get a very rarely will get a yield, but in this year, no, we got a uh, lawyer here like 30% here that that itself is a good we got this but product of our farm you know without these things so like this we continued this multi-component reactions you know you improved our, you can we could have you can able to improve the yield c with the different uh, rl substitutions we prepared this molecule with the excellent yield and the same thing we have done with the uh, uh, Promoting derivatives also. Uh, this guanidine also we are done with the multi component. Uh, first things we checked and then uh, we did one multi component reactions. See, with the uh, same thing we have done, we have changed this RL group to this starting material and we can able to synthesize. See here, OME ethyl will be based on because we different if you use different solvents base. Instead of that, you know, we will get to say, you know, different uh, uh, substitutions we will get. This also, you know, see each and everything, you know, you can be able to replace this molecule, a semi molecule. And the hydrazine, and the C screening of solvents also have done with it. We used several uh, solvents systems, how this reaction is working. And uh, Somebody speaking, disturbing. Oh. And we use the hydrazin also. See here, this side we use hydrazin. We prepared hydrazin also. Purposely we prepared. Purposely we prepared this with hydrazin with a separate uh, and the solid. You know, see here. We took a hot tip, uh, a single to the XRD, you know, very nicely. This came, this is a, a single molecule use for our synthesis. These are the mechanism, as I told you earlier, I'll turn on to discuss again. And then uh, we used uh, uh, other, right, instead of uh, this, you know, benzo, azinaptaquino, you know, this one we used, azinaptalin, this molecule uh, we used. And then we prepared the same. See here, this is also thio uh, proline uh, used. And then we prepared uh, ah, another very interesting thing is some other thing, you know, we have prepared uh, this uh, uh, coumarin kind of, I mean, the thio, pyron binder kind of molecules. We have developed another uh, another student we have synthesized. That also we have tested again because this polarized molecule is left out now. We tried all the what are the possibilities we have? We have prepared electrocycles. See here, this is also, you know, like a pyrene or 2 h pyrenol also we prepared. This also we got in a very good heat. And uh, we take this molecule with the melanin natural. We thought, you know, we just add, you will get this product. See, these are uh, commercially available molecules with the anti tuberculosis reagent. You can, uh, uh, so you know, for that only we synthesize this. This molecule, we took this as in after quinone, uh, and then we treated this our molecule, and uh, without any any problems, this molecule we got. We can able to prepare uh, several molecules with the C. We introduced one methyl, trimethyl, and then a uh, uh, fluoro, difluoro. This all we prepared. Uh, you know, we don't uh, so with a very good yield, and uh, same thing we can we can able to convert in this this molecule to other heterocycles. You know, you know multi component also we have done all together, and then uh, and then further we convert into this one which uh, this iron molecule. We took this and then we treated. This also we have done with the several. Uh, uh, derivatives of this molecule using the C here. And I used uh, this, uh, this thioproline molecule. Here we changed a no, lot. 
we change the aryl groups, we change this uh, this diketones, we change the amino acid. You can both, you know, we all uh, in uh, several amino acids we choose, you know, all the way in, uh, you know, is, is, we got a very good uh, yield without any um, difficulties. Uh, <clears throat> so like this, see, uh, very recently we have done with the enamine also. See, we took this, we prepared this molecule instead of uh, SSS style, this polarized uh, molecule. Here also we used it because we want to check we want to, uh, uh, you know, control. I mean, check whether this reaction is, uh, uh, you know, uh, to, see here also the double bond is there. This double bond also comparatively because uh, previously what I told is because because of this two SME, it is nucleophilic is attaching and uh, adding is uh, facing difficult like tosmic like that. But these conditions what happened? Same thing what happened. You know, this side is pyrosol. This uh, spiral molecule form then. If you add hydrogen, it goes out and then makes hydrogen. See this this one without a uh, SME flow. And uh, see, like this, this is a mechanism. I uh, <clears throat> so make this and then followed by hydrogen. Uh, you know, it will make a one three dipolar cyclo and followed by hydrogen. If you add hydrogen, it will be cyclized. This will go out the same amount. Like, you know, see, you can be able to prepare uh, several molecules in our pot reactions. I mean, multi component reactions without any. You know. We did with uh, a still better. We can use some other uh, uh, molecule also. The very interesting thing is that, as I told you, we want to use for this biological applications. In other way, we are uh, tested. This molecule is a fluorescent molecule because. This portion has some flaws in nature. And uh, we tested with uh, this, uh, um, you know, this This is a beta pito esters. We have, we have so one of the work and I mean, synthesized the several beta, -keto, beta uh, keto thia esters in a journal of medicinal chemistry C. And we able to repeat this reaction several times so that we also here tried. See here, this we took this molecule and then converted them to diketone, this one. And this is a, it has a dual emission properties. It's saying now if you increase the uh, excitations by 10, see continuously it increases the wavelength also. It's went up to 450, started from you know nearly uh, 349 and went to up to 441. So gradually it's increased. And also can be cell binded because uh, they have a, um, they, they, were, they made the imaging. Biological imaging also this molecule. And uh, see these many molecules we have prepared with this. And then we made a one three diketones. And we have done uh, uh, DFT calculations for molecular energy level. See here this uh, cytos effect also we have studied this molecule. You can see here the cell PC3 uh, cell line. We, we, and uh, see optimize the salt photophysical property side on. So we, I, I, this is a standardized with the several solvents. Which solvent is no? The several solvents are used, and then we optimize the conditions solvent of chromo. And uh, you know this also, as I told you, this we have done uh, um, dual emission properties. Summary. See, we started with actually we have our idea to prepare some kind of mimic of diazepin, benzodiazepine molecule. Then we started with the, uh, you know, this um, diamine with our uh, polarized uh, oxoketin diethylester. Then we end up with the benzodiazepine molecule. Then again, what we did, we extended our double bond. Then we tried the same thing we got, but another product also we got. Then we controlled one reaction, one, one product. First, initially we got two. Then we controlled separately. We have prepared this several derivatives. And otherwise, after that, we controlled the reactions, optimize. I mean, selectively we prepared this molecule, we able to prepare other molecules. With this result, we continued with the treated with this other uh, 
reagents like tosmic and uh, guanidine, you can be able to prepare, you know, this um, heteroaryl, uh, this uh, triaryl molecules with the different substitutions. Then we will to spiral. You tried with the spiral molecules we prepared. You can be able to prepare several pyro molecules with the reagents selectively. And with uh, several uh, heterocycles, also we can be able to prepare. See here, these all in a uh, come uh, one uh, one part and uh, multi component reaction uh, required. Able to prepare this benzimidas also, even if we extend a double bond, everything have done. Hydrazine, pyranone, several molecules have done this. We have in all these molecules for biological activity also for cell imaging also have done. We have done some imaging. So these are the things you have prepared. I acknowledge my most of the works. This Dhanalakshmi has been similar, so full work completely she has done. And then uh, Dimurai Pramal, and she also done some spiral work also. Dimurai Pramal, some what he done with this spiral molecule. And Sriram Bobby, he has, he has done some this one three diketones, beta ketoesters, and uh, uh, yeah, most of the work uh, Dhanalakshmi she has done. The more work, the last uh, uh, work uh, the Yena means this specimen one. Kamraj, he has done this work and collectively, you know, this is what you know, we went to a very good uh, research till we are preparing uh, several molecules. And like this, you know, we plan some molecules. Sometimes as such we'll get, but side product will come. That side product, if you work out, that will be give some very good impact. We can develop uh, several molecules like this. And these are the people our students are working in our laboratory that's going to submit some of them. Funding uh, uh, DST, CERB, UGC, and they have uh, very much uh, helpful. And recently we got a rules of, uh, from rules of funding for nearly 3.4 crores. And Tansky, Tansky project also we got DST fist for the department, you know, we did, uh, that's helpful for major equipments. With this, I thank uh, the organizer for uh, this wonderful opportunity. To share my our recent uh, uh, work, I'm ready to answer anybody. If you have any doubts or questions, can I raise? Even if you have suggestions, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, for your wonderful session. The participants are requested to ask any queries. I don't know how many of you enjoyed because mostly this is organic chemistry, <laughs> reaction mechanisms, all these things. Uh, Uh, sir, excuse me, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Dr. Devaran, sir. I have one doubt, sir. Yeah, Devaran, sir. Sir, you yeah, have yeah. mentioned hybrid like uh, structure, man, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the difference uh, between, between organic and inorganic hybridization and this organic hybridization, sir? What? Organic inorganic hybridization? Where? Yeah. I didn't get you there. Yes, sir. Repeat oh, again. Actually, sir. Actually, you have mentioned uh, yeah, go ahead. Somewhere uh, hybrid station process like. Yes, sir. Hybrid station. Uh, actually, uh, in uh, nanostructure synthesis, we are using organic organic process synthesis like sir. Okay. What is the major difference between uh, this uh, organic synthesis and uh, inorganic organic synthesis, sir? How it is cyclically formed? You are you are asking with this talk, or I mean separately, you are asking your doubt. Yeah, yes. So, uh, is, is this related to our this this uh, presentation? 
still I didn't get you. I don't know. You are asking something, you know, inorganic, organic hybridization. In what way? General questions. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, gentle. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I could not understand. Hybridization, where okay, you sir. want to do also. Hello. Hybridization, hybrid process, just like. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. No, I could not understand. I could not understand your question. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Sorry. So I, I text you, sir. I text you uh, personally. Yeah, yeah. Text me. Text me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So good afternoon, sir. I have one doubt, sir. Yeah, please go ahead. Sir, in the synthesis process, you mentioned in somewhere 100 degrees Celsius is uh, mentioned for refluxing process. Yeah. So is this the temperature is enough for the condensation process, sir? Hmm. So is, is this, this within 100 degrees Celsius the condensation process was over, sir? Yeah, yeah, it's over, yes. Okay, sir. Yeah, in the over. combination of the primary amine and the carbonyl compound, one water uh. molecule is eliminated, you mentioned, sir. Actually, uh. the water molecule is eliminated in this reaction, sir. Yeah, it, yes, definitely, because it forms that uh, in the humid you know, for, uh, while uh, having this molecule. You now here, can you see the slide? This is making a humid amine and reacting with this carbonyl compound. This water is eliminating. Yeah. How should I confirm the water is eliminated, sir, from this reaction? What? <laughs> <laughs> but you know we can do one thing you know the, the one setup is the stock in i mean uh, the own uh, reaction is there you can you can contact with this setup what will happen okay. while forming the you know water that will be separate separately you i don't know uh, you did you see that uh, apparatus stock in i mean apparatus no sir yeah so that kind of this is a one apparatus is there if you conduct this uh, reaction that apparatus it will react okay. if, if you use a solvent and it will reflect, okay? What will happen while uh, with the water forms? No, it will collect separately. You can measure how much water is formed. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So the same reaction we will uh, follow in the oil button, sir? Yeah, yeah, you can use because under more than 100 degrees, definitely you have to use oil bath only. In water bath, you cannot use. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Anyone? Any other one? <clears throat> Participants are requested to ask you what code is. You can post your idea also <laughs> if you have some suggestions. So lunchtime, many of you are feeling hungry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, please. If you have no more questions. Go ahead. So now I call upon Ms. S. V. Harini, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, to take the vote of thanks. Gratitude is a powerful catalyst for happiness and growth. I feel immensely honored to extend a vote of thanks on this spectacular session. Firstly, I guess you on the your you know, maybe switch on your camera because I don't know nobody's <laughs> could not see your video. I don't know who is speaking. Uh, you can turn on your video at least now. Seven. 
Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Go ahead. Yes. So, gratitude is a powerful catalyst for happiness and growth. I feel immensely honored to extend a word of thanks on the spectacular session. Firstly, I extend my heartfelt gratitude and thanks to Dr. S. Shivakumar for accepting our invitation. Thank you for sharing your expertise with, uh, with us in a, such an engaging and accessible way. Your passion for the subject matter is contagious and your explanation inspired us to learn more. Your insightful presentation on synthesis of small heterocyclic compounds and the religious activity is highly incredible. Thank you so much, sir. Our sincere thanks to our principal, vice principal, directors in absent, HODs in absentia. I would like to thank our HODs and faculty members, the organizing committee, who are working effortlessly to make the program a grand success. And thank you, participants, for your kind cooperation. Your participation and interaction means a lot to us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. The participants are requested to switch on your camera for your photo session. Shall I leave? For just a minute, sir, for photo session. Okay. The participants are requested to switch on the camera for photo session. So thank you, sir. Thank you for your valuable speech, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Rins.